once we left the African coast, we we went into a high pressure ridge to cross. So what's supposed to be enough wind inside that ridge, like uh, more than 10 knots, but finally since uh, the end of the night we were totally stuck in no wind area, and especially also with big current against us, and where we where the current was supposed to be with us. So it was a bit uh, casino party since uh, this morning. But just now for the last 5-10 uh, minutes we we have a bit of wind, so we are able to move in the right direction, I hope. I think this is the right direction, but I hope the wind will stay like that and we will have more wind to move out of that ridge. And the other boats? So there we can see 11 hour, not far away behind us. Uh, all seemed it quite well. So they are 30 miles in that direction. On Guyo is we can't see them, but they are like 20 miles seaward of us. We will see. Right. And, and Biotherm is a bit far away behind because they had an issue at the start, so they had to come back to the harbour and then. But, but they were able to catch us up a bit because uh, we were stuck and they have still some wind because they are not yet in the ridge. All right. And what do you expect for the next 24 hours? So, the wind, so now we have like, uh, I would say, six or eight knots, six knots of wind, seven knots of wind from the south, and the wind is supposed to lift to the west and to build slowly. Right. Let's see. Yeah. Very cool start yesterday. We, it was nice to kind of be leading away. And now it seems we've lost most of that lead in the first night, unfortunately. The wind didn't quite go how we expected. And yeah, it's um, a bit annoying, but you know, it's a long race. It's, uh, it's good to see that the five boats are back in it. Um, makes it more interesting, I think. And uh, yeah, just got to not forget that this is probably day one of about 35, so lots, lots still to happen. And uh, yeah, just got to keep going, I guess. Yeah.